हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट इवेंट्स एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू द इवेंट एट सेलेक्शन स्क्रीन आउटपुट इवेंट एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी फुल्ली डिग डाउन इनटू दिस पर्टिकुलर प्री डिफाइंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्क्रीन इन विच ऑल द लेआउट एलिमेंट्स इज कमिंग वन बाय वन now we will write the logic for the same again we will do the same to same practice i will open in the debugging mode and we will write the logic in the parallel session especially for these kinds of topic you need to open in the debugging mode it will make your task easy you can write the logic based upon that now what we will do? firstly i will just run this program we will keep this as it is so that we can see all these things one by one i will just go to display mode i will open this this screen we will keep as it is now in one session i will open in debugging mode i will put a breakpoint i will the open in debugging mode we all know at selection screen output event is calling before displaying the selection screen now i will open a session and in that session we will write the logic based upon the debug now we will understand we need to make these three things we need to make this three things invisible whenever our program whenever we will get the selection screen for the first time after that based upon this select check based upon this check box if this check box is selected these three things will be visible if this select this check box is deselected again these three things will be invisible this is our requirement so whenever our screen will appear for the first time whenever our selection screen will appear for the first time it means in that case this particular check box is not ticked yes so what we will do we'll simply write the logic if what is the name of the check box you take you took p underscore c h k if this check box is not ticked it means value will be space space means you can consider false you all know whenever we are selecting the check box value will be capital x whenever you are deselecting the check box the value will be space or you can say so you can say false so whenever our screen selection screen will come for the first time at that time this check box is not ticked it means this check box is equal to what space and if now we will write the logic for the same if this check box is not ticked we need to make these three things as invisible whenever our program whenever our selection screen is coming for the first time this check box is not ticked after that if we are deselecting this check box also we need to make these three things as invisible so how we will write the logic for the same we all know in this screen in this screen all layout elements will come one by one so what is the unique identification just see out of all these things out of all these things we need to make only these three as invisible we do not want to impact other things so what is the unique identification of these three things what is the unique identification of all the layout elements 
the answer is the name name if you see suppose i i do show you you can see we have the name is something this so let's suppose firstly we will ignore this i am doing f5 i am doing f5 loop is going on i am doing f5 have you seen this is a name name is equal to this this is a unique identification of this order date label order date label if i will proceed further if i will proceed further this is the unique identification of this if i will proceed further this is the unique identification of this if i will proceed further this is the unique identification of this so name 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 is the unique identification of every every element suppose if i will proceed further this is the unique identification of payment mode if i will proceed further this is the unique identification of this if i will proceed further this is the unique identification of this now we need to go for unique identification of these three now what is the unique identification of this label i will do f5 you can see this is the unique identification so i will simply copy this and we will write the logic for the same if it is very important if you open in debugging mode it is very very easy to write the logic if screen screen hyphen which column name is equal to you can check what is the value this is the value so if screen hyphen name is equal to this it means we are going for this particular thing currency currency now we will proceed further f5 f5 we will ignore this now screen hyphen name is equal to this or i will write the logic or screen hyphen name is equal to this because we want to hide this also so i will write screen hyphen name is equal to this it is good practice that you will open in debugging mode else it is very difficult to write the logic or now we will come on to next thing f5 f5 this one what is this this is our multiple selection button multiple selection button or screen hyphen name is equal to this whenever we have these three things whenever the check box is not selected or whenever we are running the program for the first time selection screen is coming for the first time these three things should not be visible should not be visible just see as of now in the previous video i already told you we have the various properties have you seen as of now all these things are active all these things are active this is active this is active this is active each and everything is active but if this check box is space if this check box is space or whenever our selection screen is coming for the first time this check box is not ticked we need to make these three things only these three things are inactive inactive as of now they are active if you see active is equal to 1 so what is the meaning of 1 one? one means it is active one means true zero means what false so what i will do if these three things are there 
if these three things are there we will simply simply make screen hyphen which particular thing we are using active active and we will put it to zero zero means what false now maximum people will do up to this level suppose i will write and if i will write and if so whenever these three layout elements will come we put screen hyphen active is equal to zero it means they these three things are inactive inactive whenever check box is not ticked these three things will be inactive but have you seen we put screen hyphen active is equal to zero so but now we need to transfer these changes to the internal table internal table you all know whenever you want to modify the internal table we have a internal table operation modify after passing the active is equal to 0 we need to modify the internal table so how we will modify the internal table modify screen so never never forgot to modify the internal table because as of now all these are active we make it inactive then we need to modify the screen also now i will check the syntax and i will activate the program so most most important thing if you will not open in the debugging mode it is very very difficult to write the logic for the same now what i will do i will open or i will just run this program and we will see is our logic is working fine or not i will put a break point and i will show you the first scenario in that debugging mode i'll go to desktop 3 you can see first time this check box is not ticked it means value is space our if condition is true now i will simply put screen hyphen name so that we can reach up to the solution this loop is going on i am doing f5 this if condition false that it will not again control is on the loop this if condition again false now we have this particular text order date text this particular text order date are we going for this no this if condition is again false now we are going for fourth thing this if condition again false 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 we are here now payment mode text now this if condition again false if condition again false if condition again false now our if condition will be true now we are on this text of currency now you can see if condition is true it will set active is equal to 0 just see as of now as of now active is 1 for this particular thing active is 1 as of now 1 we need to make it inactive so we will set it to 0 now you can see we are modifying the screen and have you seen it is set to 0 now you can see active is 0 it means it is inactive now we will go for next thing again if condition is false i will show you name so now we'll go for next thing our next thing is s underscore curl low again if condition is true it will set it to zero modify yes now our next if condition is again true because we are hiding these three things we are making these three things as inactive now this is also true now it is modifying now i am doing f5 f8 have you seen all these three things are invisible now yes sir because we make them inactive 
in the next video we will proceed with this or we will continue this logic only so in this video what we studied we open in the debugging mode and we checked every layout element has a unique name so based upon that we have written the logic screen hyphen name is equal to this is equal to this is equal to this now after that we put active is equal to 0 active is equal to 0 means it is inactive inactive now never never forgot to modify the we need to modify the screen so that changes will reflect in the next video we will continue this part only so that's it in this video thank you